Oh my goodness. Welcome in beautiful babes. <laughs> Have I missed y'all? Well, no, because you've been seeing me a lot. I love hanging out with my beautiful babes. And the one thing I want to do is to keep it real at all times. We're going to keep it cute too, but we're going to keep it real at all times. And I have been wanting to bring a version of what I'm getting ready to start right now to the channel for a long time. Even though we talk about beauty and we talk about women's health, mainly when it comes to mature women, I have talked about menopause and going through the change of life. But have we really visited on women's topics? And that's what I wanted to do, whether it comes from uh, a 50 year old woman menopausal stages if it comes to a woman that's getting ready to give birth or have had birth or just the woman's body altogether I want to share more information on that topic because I know a lot of people will tiptoe around it but today I'm here to tell you that we're not sugarcoating nothing we ain't sugarcoating a doggone thing because what do we have to lose we have nothing to lose we have everything to gain and so does the those individuals who just don't know we want to give it to you and that's what we're about so if you're about that same thing you came to the right place welcome to today's what can I call it a podcast <laughs> basically that's what it is okay that's what it is so grab you a snack and something to drink and let's spend just a few minutes on this particular subject that I feel that is very important because it's gotten out of hand. It's gotten so out of hand that they're just bubbling out of people breeches and and that is the thongs. Yeah, these some big old thongs. Yeah, yeah. I bought these on a whim for my big old butt and I know I wasn't gonna wear them. <laughs> have not worn them and will not wear them because let me tell you the reasons why thongs are just simply bad for women's health now it might be good for the fellow's health i don't know but for the women's health we need to stop and we need to stop today this is why for the most part many of them are made out of synthetic fabrics that are just not breathable and if it's not cotton and if it's not made of a breathable fabric, what does that mean? It means a breeding ground for bacteria. Yes, a breeding ground for bacteria. Exactly. So keep that in mind when you choose to wear thongs. And I know this looks weird for me to handle these, but I promise you they're brand new, brand spanking new. But let me tell you something. What I just said about them being a breeding ground for bacteria, you need to make note of that right away before you make an investment in all of these cutesy little things that can potentially affect your health and affect your well-being now first of all when it comes to thongs this is what you have this string that goes into a crevice that guess what there's moisture buildup that can cause a change in your vulval and vaginal odor so if you've noticed an odor that's unusual or different than your norm it may be due to a yeast infection or other type of bacterial overgrowth that's associated with wearing these little things here okay and again these aren't that little so don't say nothing about that okay now this little string right here we all know where it goes on the thong but let me tell you this this little string right here might cause a yeast infection absolutely most thongs are made of non-breathable fabric that causes moisture to get trapped in the vagina creating an environment for yeast to thrive so this can disrupt the ph of the v and if that disrupts the ph of the v guess what you'll also find an abnormal odor this is so important and I hope you're listening close if you're one of those who think it's so cute it's cute for a moment but do not sit and wear these all day every day it's a breeding ground for problems 
Another thing about thongs, they can actually transfer bacteria. When wearing a thong, there's a high chance of bacteria sticking to the thong and taking a ride from the back to the front of your underwear along the fabric. From the back to the front. Do you understand? Oh, y'all, this is more serious than we want to admit. But ladies, if you don't know, if you don't know, and I'm going to tell you, there was a time a couple of decades ago. Yeah, I've worn these. I've worn these. So you know, and I know what you're in for. Okay? Now be careful if your thong is not fitting properly. Definitely it can move from one area to the other area and that can definitely be a problem. If you're wearing them for a moment, make sure they're fitting properly. Now yes, of course, I have worn thongs and you know me personally, I find no fun in them because to me they cause more irritation than fun. They look fun, but they are definitely one thing that is not the most comfortable to wear for an extended amount of time and you shouldn't be doing it anyway. Because let me tell you, they can cause friction, which then cause bumps. I like to call them, uh, you know, you've heard of mask knee. This is thong knee because it will definitely give you a run for your money. If, again, they're ill-fitting, they're landing in the wrong spot, and the irritation and friction can definitely lead to bumps. So really the best way to avoid that is to get you some proper fitting panties, ladies. Yes, I said ladies, but I know you fellows, you, some of y'all be wearing the thongs too, okay? So this is for you all too, but women can suffer more issues when it comes to thongs than the fellows do, okay? Now they can also lead to chafing. Yes, wearing thongs can lead to chafing, meaning that they'll get all up in your business and it's definitely possible to experience some shaping and some inflammation where the string goes between the legs. So be mindful of that. Now, never, ever, ever, I say never, ever, ever wear these when you work out, for sure. Definitely triple whammy, okay? You're sweating, bacteria grows. Uh, they're just ill-fitting sometimes and will rub you the wrong way and you don't want that okay and the friction is something you don't want to experience when it comes to these no you don't so they can also cause contact dermatitis let me explain this to you the very nature of thong underwear sets it up to be itchier than briefs or hipsters. This is especially true if your skin is sensitive to irritants that linger on fabrics like detergents, fabric softeners, or harsh soaps. And the reason why they can cause the contact dermatitis is that the extra tight fabric of a thong can hold irritants closely against your body. And one final thing I want to talk about, which is pretty serious, is that wearing thongs can cause possibly vaginitis. Wearing damp underwear of any kind can lead to a condition called vaginitis, which causes pain, discharge, and itchiness. While there aren't a ton of studies about it, you don't want to affect your health in that way. We wear underwear in order to protect our girl, not to disturb her, not to cause problems. So when you're wearing these, I say right now, please proceed with caution. Know exactly what your body is supposed to smell like. Know and protect this little one down here to make sure she's safe and sound and never never just wear something just because it's a trend 
is the thing because this can definitely give you the thing for sure and i am bringing it to you from those folks that really know what they're talking about and that's all the women in america that have experienced some of these things who you will hear every single day say oh no i don't mess with thongs so please y'all take heed make sure if you're just wearing them for fun let it be fun but they're not to go work out in they're not to go sweating in they're not to keep on for hours and hours and hours makes no sense so please wear your thongs with caution or don't wear them at all i'm your girl sweet angel bringing it to you like no other if you enjoyed today's video let me know please let me know drop a like on this video drop me some hearts all down through the comments and please if you have not subscribed this is the place to be subscribe turn on your bell notification and tell your friends where you're hanging out at right here so please share me with your world and i for sure We'll see you on the next video. If you enjoyed this type of content, let me know. I'll be bringing more to you. Take care, beautiful babes. See ya.